Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Facebook fact checkers fail on Schellenberger apology. Facebook has relied on two fact checking bodies, science feedback and climate feedback, to assess a recent article by author and environmentalist Michael Schellenberger about his new book, Apocalypse Never, Why Environmental Alarmism Hurts Us All. The fact checkers rate it as partly false news, and Facebook now blocks the distribution of Schellenberger's article and downgrades any Facebook page that posts it. Friends of Science Society called Facebook out with this post. Facebook act thoughtfully to maintain freedom of speech and the integrity of scientific inquiry. We denounce this insidious censorship. Ironically, one of the third-party science feedback and climate feedback reviewers that Facebook relies upon for false news ratings is Carrie Emanuel from MIT. Emanuel posted a positive review of Apocalypse Never on the book's Amazon site, stating, in this engaging and well-researched treatise, Michael Schellenberger exposes the environmental movement's hypocrisy in painting climate change in apocalyptic terms. By contrast, in his science feedback, climate feedback critique, Emmanuel says of the claim that climate change is not making natural disasters worse, Schellenberger's statement is not defensible. Well, indeed, Roger PLK Jr., Madhav Kandekar, and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change 2012 Special Report on Extreme Weather all show that extreme weather events are integral to climate. No human attribution is possible at this time. Extreme weather is certainly frightening and destructive. However, so far we have not seen the years of extreme winters and cyclical incessant rainfall through summers as seen in the UK and Europe in the 1300s at the beginning of the Little Ice Age, which was long before there was any human influence on climate through fossil fuel use. Wildfire expert Stefan Dorr claims that Schellenberger's statements that wildfires are down worldwide are patently false. Yet, a Dorr and Santin 2016 paper entitled Global Trends in Wildfire and Its Impacts, Perceptions versus Realities in a Changing World seems to exactly confirm Schellenberger's statements. Hilariously and accurately, one critic, Ryan Sriver, states, First off, it's largely an opinion piece. Yeah, and another critic, Geraldo Ceballos, writes, This is not a scientific paper. It's intended, I guess, to be an article for the general public, which is quite true. It's Schellenberger's own journey, summarizing his findings of the 432-page book in a 1,600-word essay. Why would an opinion piece be banned for being partly false when the correct detail is found in the book. This seems contrary to Facebook's mission, as described on their investor relations page as, people use Facebook to stay connected with family and friends, to discover what's going on in the world, and to share and express what matters to them. Recent media reports show that many people, especially children, live in fear of an existential, apocalyptic end of the world as every extreme weather event is incorrectly tied to climate change by the media and environmentalists. Following the publication of the IPCC SR 1.5 report, which was wildly skewed by media and NGOs, many people began falsely thinking that the end is only a decade away. This fear was amplified thanks to the vast media promotion of the carbon offset billionaire-backed Greta Thunberg social media and social engineering campaign, which Facebook did not ban. In interviews, Schellenberger says his motivation for the book came from seeing children frightened by the fear of the end of the world. Facebook claims that by identifying and blocking what it calls false news, it's reducing the distribution of content rated as false by independent third-party fact-checkers. but. Based on the preceding evidence, the parties critiquing Schellenberger's work cannot be said to be factual or nonpartisan. 
In fact, Zeke Haasfather is a frequent contributor to Carbon Brief, an organization that has been funded through the European Climate Foundation by the very partisan Climate Works Green Billionaires, a group that includes John Podesta as a director and whose Design to Win plan funds the NGOs to push the Climate Works agenda for global cap and trade, carbon pricing, and vested interests in renewables. Facebook should lift the ban on Schellenberger's article and stop falling for the mob rule of groupthink that's informing its machine learning model. Machines fail where human common sense and reason triumphs. Facebook needs to let the people share and express what matters to them and to uphold the principle of freedom of speech. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.